Welcome to Shorty Supercoach. How are you going out there? Just wanted to have a quick chat about who I'm really looking forward to watching over the weekend. We're not far off now, are we? We've certainly counting down the days till the first bounce and it just gives that extra little bit of uh, intensity about who we're actually going with. We've really got to start to make a few hard decisions and look for me, I'm pretty set on the premiums I want to go with, but it's all coming down to the ruck department and give us some rookies. We've got to find some rookies, you know. We're just, uh, while there is some possibility, it is seeming a little bit scarce. So just going through the games, you know, big one tonight. I'm really interested to see how Maxi Gorn goes. And I know it sounds silly to sort of wonder how Max Gorn is going to go, but I did do some reshuffling and found a way that I can definitely bring him into the team. And um, I think the first Pracky game, it definitely looked like he was still a dominant force and Jackson was just a bit of an ensemble and just kind of helping him out. But, you know, I think watching how they use the whole ruck division at Melbourne will be very interesting. Dogs and Brisbane, you know, I think this is a game I probably won't get to see, but um, nothing too crazy going on there from, from memory. I think a lot of people will be looking at Kadeen Coleman. But definitely, you know, Hawthorne and Richmond, I feel like the Hawks have a lot of, and the Tigers, to be fair, you know, some real youth opportunities. Even Ralph Smith at the Tigers and, and just, you know, the likes of Ward and McDonald and a few other players at the Hawks. McGuinness putting their hand up potentially to play round one, I'll be interested in. Um, Hinge over at Adelaide, a few guys have been talking him up. And, and you know, Josh Sin at Port Adelaide, can he lock himself in for a spot? And, and Hayes as well, the Ruck, you know, how's that all going to look? Could he be our R3? And I'll just jump ahead on the topic of Rucks and R3 while the Giants take on Collingwood on Sunday. And how's Prusy looking? I feel like we were dealt a blow the other week. It really didn't seem to go the way we probably had hoped. So um, we'll be watching closely. And that game will be a big one of interest because the Pies as well, they have a host of young players that I think could roll through that midfield. A lot of people will be watching Lipinski closely as well. And um, so many young guys like McRae and I think it's Reef McGuinness as well, um, just without the G, I think, um, and a few other types in there that look likely. And the Bombers and the Saints, you know, I think the Saints probably um, are more interesting than, say, the Bombers. There's probably a few interest points at the Dons, but, you know, I feel like Marshall is starting to get a bit more traction. And, of course, they have blooded Hayes as well. I'm not sure if the mature age sample fella is playing, but it did seem like he was. Jumping back to Sunday, Sydney and North. I'm actually quite interested just to watch how Jake Lloyd goes with the kick-ins. I think Blakey and Braden Campbell actually shared those duties a fair bit. So not that I'm too concerned, but I am looking forward to watching that. North, you know, Horn Francis is a lock, but it's always great to watch him. And I think a few will be looking at Taron Thomas as well. Can he just cement his spot in a few people's sides? Fremantle and West Coast. Well, I think West Coast are a massive interest because... There's got to be some opportunity there, doesn't there? You know, I feel as if there is just a lot of players out with injury. Therefore, there is opportunity. So I wonder who bobs their head up there. And the Dockers, well, I think Will Brody's a big one for that. You know, many people will be hoping that it's a full dress rehearsal for the Dockers and we get to see where he can sort of fit into that mix when it's all guns blazing. And then on the Monday, my Geelong Cats versus Gold Coast. Matty Rowell will be front and centre. I feel like even someone like uh, Lockie Weller and Jared Witts hopefully plays also will be a big watch. Um, I'll be also just backtracking to the Bombers. I didn't really give them much love there, but Sam Drape is probably one that, as we look for a potential mid-price ruck option, he could be also a guy. And I think for the Cats, I'll just be hoping that Cooper Stevens and Sam DeConning put their best foot forward and can try and get a round one spot for super coach purposes. But yeah, they're the guys that I'm having a look at this weekend so feel free to comment below about any players that you've got a keen eye on and I'm going to start to release some league codes as well I dropped one into the live sesh last night so I appreciate everyone who got on board with that one but yeah it's uh it gets on you pretty quick I must admit so I've got I've got a few assessments and stuff with TAFE so I'm just I'm going to try and keep the consistency of videos up but if I don't appear as much over the weekend um you know why but uh yeah I'll talk to you guys soon cheers